Find the HCF and the LCM of 12x squared yz squared and 15xy squared z squared. Probably up until now, you've just had to find the HCF and LCM of numbers. But we can use the same process with these algebraic expressions. So if you split uh, the number parts into their prime factors and then write these out like I'm going to show you here. So 12 x squared y z squared 12 in its prime factors is 2 times 2 times 3 uh, because 2 times 2 makes 4 4 times 3 makes 12 you should know how to split a number into its prime factors x squared is x times x and y is just times y and then z is going to be z times z i like to put a line through my z in order not to confuse it with the uh, number 2 do a similar thing to 15x y squared z squared. 15 is 3 times 5, so we're going to write things underneath each other. Times x, and then we've got y squared, so times y times y times z times z. Now, normally I like to use a Venn diagram to split things to find the HCF and the LCM. So the HCF is what's in the middle here, and what's common to both. So what's common, we have a 3. We have an x, we have a y, and a z squared. What's left here? We have a 2 times 2, so it's 2 squared. We have an x not uh, on its own there. And then over here we have a 5 and a y. Right, so the HCF is given by the intersection on the Venn diagram. So the HCF will be 3xyz squared, that's straightforward. And the LCM you get by taking the HCF, which is 3xyz squared, timesing it by 2 squared and x, and then timesing it by 5y. So... Uh, Working that out in the right order. So 3 times 2 squared times 5 makes 60. We've got x times x, which is x squared. y times y, which is y squared. And then just a z squared there. So the HCF is 3xyz squared. And the LCM is 60x squared, y squared, z squared. So this has been a video to show you for how to find the HCF and LCM of two algebraic expressions. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.